Good morning, students and staff. Today is Thursday, April 29th, 2021. It's a day one. Please stand and listen to our national anthem, followed by a moment of silent reflection. Please be seated. We would like to start by acknowledging that we're on the traditional territories of the Wendat, the Haudenosaunee, and the Anishinaabe peoples, whose presence here continues to this day. We would also like to acknowledge that this is the treaty lands of the First Nations of the Williams Treaty, and thank them and other Indigenous peoples for sharing this land with us. We'd also like to acknowledge the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation as our closest Indigenous community and our partners in education. We acknowledge this land and the people because the first step to reconciliation is recognizing the existence of Indigenous people. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada calls to action number 62 and 63 speak to the significance of education as a key to reconciliation. A shared understanding of how our collective past brought us to where we are today will help us walk together into a better future. Here are today's announcements. So, we have talked about on the announcements um, how to be an ally, and we've been reflecting on what the calls to action number 62 and 63 mean. And every single day when we read the land acknowledgement, we hear about our partners in education, uh, which are the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation, which are our closest Indigenous community and our partners in education. So this Monday's reflection around how to be an ally, one of the question was, questions is, as an ally, what can I do? How can I support? Did you know uh, that there are 210 people that live on Georgina Island um, as part of the, the Chippewas of Georgina Island? And do you know that uh, as recently as um, December 2019, they had a boil water advisory. And so I'm going to leave it to you to do a little bit of research about that, about what that means, um, and why that's significant for the Georginas, uh, for the Chippewas of Georgina Island. And so the boil water advisory was put into place April 2017 and became long term in April 2018. And there were upgrades done. But I think one of the questions that we need to ask is why is this happening and how is this particularly in, impactful on um, our closest partners in education? So something for you to think about um, in terms of being an ally and maybe how can we support? What can we do? Those are today's announcements. Have a great day. <laughs>